As soon as Gao Lin appeared, he turned the tide and dominated everything. Curling up in a courtyard was the most secure. After sharing all his insights, the next step was to enjoy a leisurely time of freedom. There is no need to worry about the pressure of survival, nor to be troubled by the trivialities of life. The joy of daily life lies in watching one big play after another. What? Recently, there hasn't been much excitement and excitement. Then create a situation on your own. After all, this place is not a place of deep animal love. There is no need to feel guilty about dealing with those animal behaviors. Watching dramas, stirring up trouble, teasing birds with laughter and anger, these days are truly carefree. Gao Lin. Madam, why did your best friend group expand again? Madam. How could you be unhappy? I don't believe it. Oh my, there's another good show going on, hurry up, hurry up. Chapter 1. The True and Advanced Education of Yi Zhonghai. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ding Chunan frowned and asked, Why, isn't there no time to study like this? You're just going to college to apply for a degree. Can't I teach better than school? It's better to learn knowledge in leisure time and practice in the workplace, isn't it? Gao Lin can only remember that many universities would suspend classes and organize students to go to the countryside. Who knows what the situation of the university you were admitted to? Not everyone is a small encyclopedia, and when they travel through things they haven't learned before, they can remember them clearly, just like carrying all the information from the previous life with them. Isn't this cheating? Out of trust in Gao, Ding Chunan nodded. Anyway, I should be able to persevere when I get tired. There's another good news, guess what it is. Gao Lin looked at the atmosphere a bit serious and said mysteriously to listen to Chiu Nan. Ding Chunan instinctively looked at Yu Li's lower abdomen and remembered Lu Xiaoyi. She touched her belly and murmured to herself, No, I don't know, do I? Puff. Liang Lady watched Ding Chunan's reaction and suddenly sprayed the soup out. Gao Lin quickly gave Liang Lady a smooth ride, and after a while she took off the towel she was wearing around her neck and wiped it. You're amazing. Liang Lady looked up at Ding Chunan and gave a thumbs up gesture. Gao Lin was afraid that Xiao Ding might guess something more exaggerated, so he quickly released the answer. Your parents' review is almost over and will be completed this week. Although it is not completely completed yet, the results have been notified. We will exonerate your parents and reassign work as compensation. Great. Although she had been prepared since the review began, when the beautiful dream really came true, Ding Chunan couldn't help but feel excited and want to cry. Watching Ding Chunan's eyes turn red, Gao Lin felt a bit at a loss and turned to Liang Lady for help. Liang Lady rolled her eyes and said, Does my woman still need to be comforted by my mother? However, she still hugged Ding Chunan and whispered something in her arms. After a while, both of them laughed. Ding Chunan looked at Gao Lin and pleaded softly. Can you accompany me to see them when the results come out? Gao Lin readily agreed, it's easy to say, let's go this Sunday. Hmm. Ding Chunan responded softly and slowly regained her calm face. As for Chui Dake, Gao Lin realized that with the current strength of Xiao Ding, he should play around and not be bullied again, so he didn't say anything more. In the afternoon at work, after drawing half an afternoon's lathe improvement drawings, Gao Lin was dragged around by Su Zhen and Xiao Sunday. Gao Lin still wanted to struggle, holding on to the sleeves of Xiao Sun and now, shouting repeatedly. What are you doing? I have already visited the workshop this morning and everything I am responsible for is running smoothly. I don't want to go anymore. Chang, come and see, it's not me who took the initiative to go out and play. Su Zhen didn't give face and said directly, if you don't want to go, don't hold on to us. Hurry up and let us go. Xiao Sun was quite cooperative and said, Senior brother, help me take a look after you finish reading, and I will also learn and study. Xiao Shuzi, this is not acceptable. 
you are no longer the one who couldn't make a dish and begged for mercy in the past. How dare you even attack your master? Gao Lin said this and even cried falsely. Get out of here. Teach me a few dishes, my master. Do I still want to take care of your old age and see you off? When will you die, master? I can also prepare the ingot incense candles in advance. Su Zhen was also cautious and immediately counterattacked with words. Master, my biggest characteristic is being able to live. When the time comes, my black-haired person will give you a white-haired person. Are you okay? Gao Lin thought of his own situation and simply told the truth. Unexpectedly, Su Zhen really thought carefully and then asked Gao Lin. You're right, my physical fitness really can't compare to yours. Do you think I should make up for it? Gao Lin smiled mischievously and said, What is it for? Epimedium. Is it still precious enough? Six flavors of Remania pill. Tiger whip. Tiger bone wine. Su Zhen coughed and said, I have a friend who may need it. If you have these, give me some and I'll send them over. Xiao Sun also interjected and said, I have several friends too. Brother, what do you think? Gao Lin carefully looked at the two of them and checked their pulse again, isn't it empty? With a thoughtful glance at the two of them, Gao Lin said with a medical demeanor. Medication is not a health product, it's not about treating illnesses without self.defense. The saying is that medicine has three parts of poison. If you take medicine without illness, be careful and you won't be able to do it without it. As they spoke, the three of them returned to the workshop where Yi Zhonghai was located. Yi Zhonghai dared not teach Qin Huiru hand in hand as soon as Gao Lin shouted in the morning for everyone to see. Yi Zhonghai was standing next to Qin Huiru, talking incessantly about this. Gao Lin, be careful and listen carefully. Good guy, it's all advanced engineering knowledge at level 7 or 8. How could Qin Huiru possibly understand? I knew Yi Zhonghai didn't want Qin Huiru to live well. How can he show kindness when the Jia family's life is better? How to control Qin Huiru? For Yi Zhonghai, I can treat you well, but you can't really live well. You have to live under his control below. Yi Zhonghai quickly closed his mouth in a panic as he saw two engineers and a technician coming over. Others dare not come over while teaching themselves, otherwise they will become apprentices, but they are different. Not only do they have a reason to come over, but most importantly, they can also understand. If they hear it and deliberately spread their advanced engineering knowledge, making it difficult for Qin Huiru to understand and learn, then they really have no face to live. So Yi Zhonghai quickly stopped and nodded to Gao Lin and the others with a smile on his face. Only Gao Lin heard the teachings just now, so he deliberately joked. Mr. N, Qin Huai Ru has been in the factory for almost a year and a half. How is her level now? As soon as Gao asked, Qin Huai Ru's face turned green. You kid comes to the workshop all day to wander around, can't you not know what level of expertise I have? Indeed, even the hearts and eyes of scholars are dirty. It's still foolish to fool around. Yi Zhonghai's face stiffened, he sighed, shook his head, and said. Qin Huiru is quite hardworking. I teach her well every day, maybe her talent is not here. Not here, where is it? Taking care of others, Yi Zhonghai nods frantically. Sucking blood, silly pillar slowly makes a question mark. Su Zhen was not causing trouble, but after careful consideration, he slowly said. Do you want to transfer her position, such as going to the kitchen? I heard she takes good care of her family, and she should be able to handle the kitchen job. Before Yi Zhonghai could reply, Qin Huiru quickly pulled him and took two steps forward. Thank you for your concern. I am quite good at working as a fitter here. With an old man who is an eighth-level worker, I feel like I have gained a lot, so I don't need to trouble you to help me transfer positions anymore. After Gao Lin and the others left, Yi Zhonghai looked at Qin Huiru puzzled. Although she didn't want to let Qin Huiru go, why didn't she agree? 
Huayru, although your salary may have been lower since you transitioned from a fitter to a kitchen assistant, you will soon be able to improve your work level and salary. Besides, you can also bring groceries to your home. Why don't you want to? Qin Huayru rolled her eyes wildly in her heart. Workers are definitely more promising than miscellaneous workers. If it weren't for your old troublemaker, I would have been a first-dot-class fitter long ago, besides, the food supply in the workshop is half as much as in the logistics department. There are several mouths in the house, and how can we eat enough when there is less food? The only advantage of the kitchen is being able to bring some leftover food, but how can there be so much leftover food every day that even a newcomer can take it? It's better to have Silly Zhu take all the leftovers and I'll bring them over from the yard. I can eat everything without offending the people in the kitchen. I wanted to go back and think, but Qin Huairu couldn't fall out with Yi Zhonghai yet. She smiled and said. Grandpa, this position will continue to be passed down in the future. A fitter position will be much more valuable than a kitchen assistant. It's easy to transfer from a fitter to a kitchen assistant, but it will be difficult to transfer back. This is really not a joke. At that time, most people longed to become 353 workers instead of logistics. How about the big brother workers? He spoke harder than the leader. And the position is really passed down from father to son, from son to grandson. People thought it would be passed down from generation to generation, just like the officials in ancient times. So a position is precious and tight, naturally unwilling to let it depreciate. Qin Huairu's words were reluctantly accepted by Yi Zhonghai. No matter what I think in my heart, I have never asked about this matter again on the surface. Gao Lin and his companions left the workshop and walked around to the clinic. Before I could even enter the door, I heard screams coming from inside, and soon someone ran out. The person in front was quite miserable, but the person behind didn't leave. The ideas are quite similar. Everyone has come, and leaving without trying seems too timid. I'm a tough guy. Gao Lin and the others didn't go in either. They saw ghosts crying and gods howling for a while, and then one ran out. The people in the queue quickly tasted Dr. Xiao Ding's new medical skills. The last one is Chui Daik. As soon as he entered, the three brothers stood at the door watching the excitement. Chui Daik, who has just been cleaned up, is not as spirited as he was a few days ago. If it had been a few days ago, Chui Daik wouldn't have been queuing up. He would have cut in line with an excuse, but he was just warned by the head of the security department this morning. How could he not have been honest and low dot key? Compared to others taking sick leave and seeing beautiful women, he is actually simply trying to pry into someone's corner. Chui Daik has already stayed in the city. Since he doesn't need to be his son. In law, he must find a beautiful wife. Who are you looking for? Newly appointed factory flower Ding Chiu Nan Ding Doctor. I saw Chui Daik holding his back and limping over to Ding Chunan, sitting on the chair, moaning incessantly. Dr. Ding, I've been working too hard these past few days and accidentally hunched over. I'm afraid to walk hard, so please show me. Go lie down on the hospital bed. Ding Chunan's face. Couldn't be seen with a mask on, and her voice was calm and indifferent. Wearing gloves, Ding Chunan looked up and saw three heads looking inside the door. Ding Chunan blinked at Gao Lin and waited for Chui Daik to lie down before picking up his notebook and pen and walking over. Putting Ben on the bed, Ding Chunan pulled off Chui Daik's lifted shirt and stabbed him in the waist with a pen. Does this hurt? What about here? Here. As I poked and asked, my heart gradually became clear. Another research material for pretending to be sick without illness. It didn't make anyone wake up either. Ding Chunan and Zhao Xiaohong gave a glance and said it was okay, so they directly asked. Your situation is a bit serious. It's not that you have a hunch, but rather a slight dislocation. I'm not sure if there's any bone damage. Saying is equivalent to not saying. Unless the factory settings are restored, 
even the healthiest person may not have a slight misalignment and their body can automatically adjust. Chui Daik was dumbfounded upon hearing this. I'm pretending to be sick, how did it become true? Is it foolish Ju who hit me in the morning? I didn't feel it, is the injury breaking out now? Chui Daik trembled with fear and lifted his upper body, twisting his body and asking. Ding Daofu, this can at most be considered a minor injury, isn't it so serious? Minor injuries can also be life.threatening, but this one is relatively easy to treat and will heal soon. Do you need it? I'll treat it, do you still want to go to a big hospital to see upon hearing this, Chui Daik knew it wasn't serious. He happened to be coming to pursue someone, so it's just right here. Chui Daik lay down again, still saying kind words. Dr. Ding, with your superb medical skills, I must believe you even more. Just dare to let go and treat it, and I'll leave my life to you. What was said earlier was quite good, but later it became more and more exaggerated. Ding Chunan studied Western medicine, and also studied traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine with Gao Lin. She is worried about the reactions of different acupoints to different stimuli. Isn't that just right? Lie down and don't move. Ding Chunan pushed Chui Daik's top up, opened the needle bag, and took turns applying needles to harmless acupoints such as the kidney acupoint, Mingmen blood acupoint, large intestine acupoint, and Ba Lao acupoint, as well as areas with abundant flesh. Different needles, different forces, different angles, and even different depths. I have studied all the needles, including the needle, round needle, lifting needle, sharp needle, beryllium needle, round sharp needle, filiform needle, long needle, and large needle. Chui Daik lay on his stomach and dared not move, fearing that any movement would affect Dr. Ding's performance. At the same time, in order to show his masculinity, he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth there. If he couldn't resist, he lifted his hand and bit the back of his hand. By the time Ding Chunan had put the needle down, Chui Daik had already bitten out several large watches on the backs of both hands. Chui Daik wiped the cold sweat from the pain on his face, got up, put down his clothes, and felt that he was doing well. He stumbled over to Ding Chunan, pretending to be worried and asked. Dr. Ding, have I been cured? Let me first explain that I don't believe in your medical skills. It's just that we don't need to use it a few more times to stabilize it. Are you free tonight? I'll make some good dishes. Thank you, and please give me another detailed examination. Good guy, this is really tough. Gao Lin quickly signaled to Ding Chunan that there was still a seed needle not appearing. Ding Chunan hesitated for a moment, but seeing Chui Daik's endless entanglement, she turned around and took out a long cloth bag. Opening the package, there were actually 4.50 centimeters of large needles inside. Ding Chunan picked up a python needle and trembled incessantly with a gentle shake. With her head tilted, Ding Chunan asked softly, Do you still need a needle? The cold sweat that Chui Daik had just finished wiping suddenly came out again. What's that, Dr. Ding? I suddenly remembered that I have something else to do at night, so I might not be able to invite you anymore. Why don't you? Convenient. I still have work to finish, so I'll leave first. Before Ding Chunan could say anything, Chui Daik immediately turned around and ran, unable to stop Zhao Xiaohong from behind. Chapter 2 Fourth Solar Stove You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. At this moment, Gao Lin walked in and smiled, saying. Dr. Ding, you're not afraid that no one will come in the future. Don't you have anyone to practice with? Ding Fantasy was immersed in the scene of a massive killing, only to be reminded by someone to realize his mistake. Ding Chunan looked at Gao Lin and said, What should we do now? There's nothing we can do, cold mix. Anyway, they'll come back in a while. They're all from the group chat, but you haven't had any practice lately. Gao Lin shrugged and spread his hands. Su Zhen and Xiao Sun walked over after watching the excitement outside and said to Ding Chunan. Dr. Ding, this is you. Speaking, both of them raised their thumbs. 
Later, Su Zhen looked at Gao Lin and said, This idea must have come from Gao Lin, right? It's really damaging. It not only honed Dr. Ding's medical skills, but also reduced the number of workers taking sick leave. It improved the production efficiency of the factory. This is a win win situation. Gao Lin is still trying to argue. However, he forgot that there was also Ding Chunan present who didn't understand the world, and coincidentally she had also heard Gao Lin's explanation. So Dr. Ding interjected, and that's the key point. Gao Lin, what you're telling me is that I got some exercise and the workers also took sick leave. I killed two birds with one stone, how did it become? The rhetoric I told you was meant to be heard by the workers, but now it's meant to be heard by the leaders, isn't it, Sister Zhao? Saying this, he greeted Zhao Xiaohong. Zhao Xiaohong quickly pulled Ding Chunan behind her and gave Gao Lin a disdainful glance, then pouted and said. Don't let me ruin our baby, Dr. Ding. Looking at three factory scammers, again, they are suspicious and threatening. Have you three finished your work yet? Come and take a stroll around here, be careful that I'll take over the rest of you instead of De Chang. Gao Lin and Su Zhen are what I call, but Xiao Sun is really scared. Chang Gu is silly, and his wife has plenty of tricks to deal with people. Quickly nodding and bowing, bowing and explaining. Sister Zhao, we are out to inspect the use of production line machinery and production progress. Didn't we see so many people queuing up at the entrance of the clinic? Are we afraid something might happen? Chang is the first brother, and you are the sister. In law of our technical department. If you have something to do, how can we keep an eye on it? You're a good talker. All right, we don't have much to do here. You've finished watching the excitement, so go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Watching Zhao Xiaohong feel comfortable being flattered, Gao Lin sighed to himself. No wonder Xiao Sun is the most knowledgeable through the grapevine. His eloquence is so pleasing to the ear. All right, Sister Zhao has kicked someone out. Let's go somewhere else, gentlemen. Su Jin raised her eyebrows and walked out with a smile. Gao Lin shrugged his shoulders and said goodbye to everyone before following suit. Xiao Sun is the most mischievous person, and when he comes out, he carefully closes the door. I said Xiao Sun, you shouldn't be like this, right? Su Zhen looked so hard that his eyeballs were about to fall off, he wondered. Xiao Sun smiled bitterly and said, Miss Zhao came over from Gada, and her strength is worth it. Fighting Chang Gu, a strong man, is like playing. I don't want to give it a try. Have you ever seen Sister Zhao beat Brother Chang? Gao Lin's eyes lit up, and his mind was filled with gossip. I haven't seen it before, my dad has. At that time, Brother Chang was so miserable. Xiao Sun originally wanted to make a bitter face, but halfway through, he couldn't help but laugh out loud. Gao Lin and Su Jin couldn't resist either. After laughing for a while, Su Jin joked, I've never seen such a strong brother before. I really want to see him. Yeah, I really want to see it. Forget it. Let's go and see where there's still a problem. I'll finish reading it early and go back to the department. It's almost time to finish work. Let's go, let's go. I haven't finished my task today. After work, Gao Lin returned to the courtyard with a large group of people. Yi Zhonghai and Silly Zhu had already started playing around a solar stove in the courtyard. These beasts are designated to leave early again. Lu Guangtian exclaimed loudly and approached, asking. Grandpa, are you buying a solar stove now? Yeah, I just bought it today. Yi Zhonghai's face is full of self-satisfaction, strong and humble. You all bought it for internal quotas, but I bought it outside. The entire courtyard has been equipped with solar stoves, and our middle courtyard is short of quota. Now, it is the problem that I, Yi Zhonghai, have solved. I'm so amazing, but I need to cross my waist for a while. Grandpa, how did you buy it? It's not a markup, is it? You know, many people can't queue up now, you're really amazing. 
Lu Guangtian didn't mean to mock, he just genuinely sighed. But Zhong Hai doesn't think so. E Zhong Hai. Can I say I know that my apprentice's wife waited in line all night and bought it three times? Did I give her an extra ten yuan to cut off her beard? Zero that's so embarrassing. Yi Zhonghai snorted coldly and stopped speaking. Lu Guangtian couldn't figure it out and even scratched his hair without daring to ask questions. When Gao Lin and his group returned, almost all the residents in the courtyard had returned. Yi Zhonghai looked at the crowd and announced in public. As we all know, we previously purchased three solar stoves for our internal quota, which worked very well, but the quantity was too small to be shared by everyone. I worked hard and went through a lot of trouble this time, and finally managed to find someone to buy one. Those who were not assigned to the previous group can be considered as part of my group and can be used together with me. Zero, even if it's not a group, as long as it's the residents of our quadrangle, they can still come to me if they can't queue up with others. And as an old man, I promote my style, so I don't want to share the money with everyone. It's all from the neighbors, and it's not easy. I'm going out alone. The group with Yi Zhonghai was overjoyed upon hearing it. This is a big injustice coming to our door, it's so unfair. Someone offered money, and this advantage was not taken for nothing, so they immediately exclaimed in praise. Good job, truly worthy of being an old master. As expected, our hospital is the most capable, and those with connections must be Mr. Rini. No money. Indeed, an old man is the most benevolent and righteous, and is our moral model. Everyone was happy, but the bangs stopped working. Lao Yi, are you trying to break away from the people and disrupt the stability and harmony of the courtyard? I'll take the money, but you don't take the money. Am I missing these two? Are you criticizing me, or do you want to praise yourself? Sure enough, even animals love to watch the excitement. As soon as Lu Haizhong came out to find something to do, not to mention the supporting role group and background board in the courtyard, even the likes of Silly Column and Su Damao stopped talking and watched the show with bated breath. Yi Zhonghai's face was serious, his eyes narrowed slightly, and he looked up and down at the bangs. Lao Lu, are you trying to criticize me? Yi Zhonghai's serious demeanor really suppressed Lu Haizhong. Just now, Lu Haizhong, who was furious and eager to have a fight, immediately had a brain and calmed down. It's just that Yi Zhonghai miscalculated emotional bangs are mindless and very easy to deal with. But once you calm down, the intelligence in the bangs will once again occupy the high ground, it will be difficult to deal with. There is no simple way to become a level 7 blacksmith. I saw Lu Haizhong straighten his stomach and smile, chin up, and loudly say. Lao Yi, it's not that I'm going to criticize you, but that you're standing on the opposite side of us all. Silly Zhu sneered and sneered. Second Grandpa, it's not that I look down on you. Every day I think of officials, do you know what the masses are? Always hitting children, do you know what harmony is? Lu Haizhong blushed and coughed twice to conceal his words. Of course I understand. I listen to the radio at home every day, how could I not understand? Speaking of this matter, the three machines we bought earlier were collectively purchased by everyone, and our property belongs to the collective. We all use it together, and some people are happy about the June 13th dot. And the one you bought, if you say you don't need to raise money, it belongs to you personally. What is this? It's us raising money, you're the sole proprietorship, we all have a big pot of food, you're just starting a small stove yourself. You're individualistic, Lao Yi. This kind of thinking is unacceptable. What else did you say later about your own solar stove? Everyone can use it casually. Why, you know how to contribute, but you are noble. Old Yen, Xiao Yang, and I are all selfish people when we ask everyone to contribute together. The neighbors in the courtyard are all people who take advantage of others without paying. Lao Yi, are you saying that you want to detach yourself from the people and disrupt the stability and harmony of the courtyard? What a sophistry! 
In the bangs, this is the rhythm of using up one's mind when not in use and exhausting it when it's crucial. Dividing the overall coherent behavior into segments, trying to turn the tide can be said to be stubborn, selfless dedication can be called class discrimination, let alone Yi Zhonghai's intention to buy people's hearts, and his words and actions are always somewhat inappropriate. Wall grass has no discerning ability. It's the one who speaks loudly who listens, and the one who speaks for a long time makes sense. After listening to Lu Haizhong's words, they start to discuss in a low voice. You're right. If we don't pay, then the solar stove belongs to an old man. He doesn't want anyone to use it, and he can put it away whenever he wants. That's right, if I give out money, then I'll have my share. It's a face to talk about it, and my family also has a sunny family. It's a bit difficult for a family to give out 20 yuan on their own, but who can't give out less than 4 yuan? Yeah, you see, the first three solar stoves have all raised funds. If I don't raise funds for this one, I won't be able to use it with confidence. Yi Zhonghai glanced at his aunt, nodded, and quickly got up and walked to the backyard to find the deaf old lady to move reinforcements. The more people talk, the more powerful they become, even using a solar stove to control their neighbors to act recklessly. As for Yi Zhong Hixen, I will rule the world because I bought a solar stove later. Quickly speaking up, he explained, everyone knows what kind of person I am, Yi Zhonghai. I just wanted to have a higher salary and a wealthy family, so it wouldn't matter if I had to pay this money myself. As an old man again, I didn't make any contribution to everyone, so it's considered helping everyone live. I didn't want to do anything wrong with my good intentions, which caused a misunderstanding. I apologize to everyone here. Speaking decisively, Yi Zhonghai immediately bowed to the surrounding neighbors. Now the wall grass has changed its attitude again. The old man is right, maybe he just wants to be a good person. That's right. It's so normal for an old man to seek benefits for everyone. Who suspected that an old man had ulterior motives just now and stood up to see if I wouldn't kill you? I just said, what's wrong is that the second grandpa just said a bit too much about conspiracy theory, right? Otherwise, ancient emperors loved to issue self-inflicted edicts. As long as one apologizes to someone in a high position, ignorant people will immediately forgive them, and even worse, they will find various reasons for them. Yi Zhonghai, one kind dot hearted troublemaker, one apologizes, and the wind suddenly turns. Lu Haizhong was originally quite proud that he had once again launched his IQ, showcasing his divine power, and was only one step away from pulling Yi Zhonghai off the stage. I didn't expect Yi Zhonghai to admit his mistake straightforwardly and decisively. What should we do next? Lu Haizhong felt proud too early and burned his brain. He couldn't turn around and couldn't even think of saying anything about punishment. He had been waiting for a long time and didn't know what to say. Some people can't remember bangs. Su Damao saw that the bangs couldn't continue, standing up was like speaking up. Before he could speak, he got a stick on his butt. Oh my, who is so short-handed, hitting your grandpa Damao? Su Damao lost his head and saw the deaf old lady with a gloomy face, about to hit him with a cane. He quickly moved aside flash aside, make way for the road the deaf old lady snorted coldly and glanced askance at Su Damao. Have you never heard of a good dog blocking the way? You're blocking the old lady's way. Hey, you deaf old lady. I don't have the same opinion as you. Su Damao was scolded as a dog and wanted to say a few words, but as he looked at the cane raised again, the projectionist, who couldn't even beat the old lady, had to admit it. Long Laodi walked into the crowd for a check. Up, looked at the solar stove, touched it, and said. I've heard everything from Aunt E. Xiaoyi is just a kind. Hearted troublemaker. He helps people too much, and this time he didn't think so much. Let's just forget it, don't go online either. Who hasn't said the wrong thing yet? We're all neighbors, and the days ahead are still long. The deaf old lady spoke both soft and hard, even pleading and threatening. Especially when it comes to the launch of the outline, I deliberately glanced at Lu Haizhong, 
which drew everyone to look at Lu Haizhong and made everyone doubt his purpose. Isn't that right? Lao Yi's thinking is wrong, we need to educate him well. The bangs were supposed to be full of confidence, but they said they were stuttering and powerless. The deaf old lady snapped like a crutch. Who do you want to educate, kid? I want you to educate, I want you to educate. The bangs were forcefully connected several times, and I couldn't bear to run around the courtyard 2.5. The deaf old lady chased after him a few times but couldn't catch up, which is considered to have spared him. With a crutch, the deaf old lady spoke, All right, everyone has dispersed. It's time to go back for dinner. Speaking, the deaf old lady walked back with the help of an old lady. It wasn't just Yi Zhonghai's apology that played a role, but also the face saving threat of the deaf old lady that played a role. Everyone didn't delve into this matter and went home to eat. For elderly residents, this is a common occurrence. It's normal for the boss and the second to have a disagreement. Nan Yi was not a meddler and didn't care, so he just went home. But Chui Dake discovered the blind spot. The first master thought of the silly pillar, they are a group, but they can win over the second master themselves. Chui Dake quickly went home and steamed a sausage. He put a cloth on it and served it at home in the bangs. Chapter 3 Chui Dake by Pier You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Second Grandpa, it's me Chui Dake. I brought some sausages to drink with you. Chui Dake knocked on the door and waited for Lu Haizhong's approval before entering the room, showing special respect. This respect greatly satisfies Lu Haizhong. Just as Chui Dake was steaming sausages, he beat Lu Guangfu in the bangs and his anger had almost dissipated. At this moment, looking at Chui Dake's respect for him, he greeted him with a gentle smile. Xiao Chui, come on, come on, sit down quickly. You've been moving here for several months now, and second grandpa doesn't even have time to chat with you. Let's have a good drink this time. As he spoke, Lu Haizhong gave a glance at Lu Guangfu. I was just beaten and I am currently on alert. Lu Guangfu immediately recognized the signal, jumped up, and rushed into the kitchen. He grabbed clean dishes and glasses in a few seconds and ran out. At this moment, Chui Dake hasn't even sat down yet. Without any delay, Lu Guangfu put down his things and picked up the wine bottle. He first poured wine for his father and then filled it with food for Chui Dake before sitting back in his seat. With a frown in the bangs, there was another twenty-five slaps. What are you doing? Didn't you see that I'm here to accompany the guests? Get out of here. Lu Guangfu was jolted and didn't dare to say anything. He squatted to the side with a disheveled bowl and chopsticks in his arms. Since Lu Guangtian became Gao Lin's younger brother, he has learned a lot of intelligence and has been influenced by it. When he sees this situation, he shouldn't wait any longer. Hurry up and leave. After drinking kanji in twos and threes, he cleaned up his stall, bent down and frowned at the middle of the fringe. Dad, once I finish eating, I won't disturb you when we talk about business. Hmm. Agreed, Sun Ran was just humming noise from his father's nose. Lu Guantian quickly picked up his things and turned around to go out. Before going out, he glanced at Lu Guangfu, who was squatting and still in trouble. Lu Guangtian quickly waved his hand. Lu Guangfu hasn't been foolish enough to get home yet. Seeing that Lu Guangtian is going to leave, he actually wants to leave too. If he sees his second brother greeting him, then hurry up. Without saying a word to the bangs, he suddenly jumped up and jumped out. Lu Haizhong was angry when he saw it, but he didn't hit a single spot. This silly kid doesn't understand any rules, he must have hit less. Chui Dake saw that Lu Haizhong's face was not good. Looking and quickly comforted. Second Grandpa, I've done quite well just by looking at the sky. Guangfu hasn't grown up yet, so he'll definitely be good when he goes to work. I heard it in the bangs, but I still said it without mercy. I grew up playing Guangtian from a young age, which is considered a bit of a success. Guangfu, the little rabbit Huizi, 
just played less and didn't make any progress. Do you think Guangtian is good? That's because you haven't seen my eldest son Lu Guangqi. That's because Guangqi was transferred from work, otherwise I can be anxious and angry all day for such an unpopular thing. Chui Daik repeatedly agreed, how about saying that your education is good? The children have all become successful, and this is what keeps us away from you. You are the material to be a leader. Looking at Chui De Kao's thumbs, I heard him say that he is a leader, and the center of his bangs is called a beauty. Thinking that being a leader would also assess one's reputation, he quickly waved his hand and said, keep a low profile, keep a low profile. That's what I said, but the corners of my mouth in the bangs couldn't even close. Under the flattery of Chui Daik, the bangs only felt like clouds, floating and wandering, without knowing where they were. After finishing a meal, Lu Haizhong had already regarded Chui Da as the most valued subordinate, the eunuch beside the emperor, and had been confiding in him for a while. Finally, he reminded, Xiao Chui, I have also heard about the conflict between you and Silly Zhu. Isn't Silly Zhu just protected by an old man? You will also be protected by me in the future, and I will definitely not let you suffer losses. But if we want to deal with them, we still need to find the right opportunity. Look, we're not ready today to let Lao Yi retreat calmly. If we're prepared, we'll have to give him the position of a master. Chui Daik nodded repeatedly and said, That's right, if I had to say it, we should let you, an old comrade who understands the spiritual thoughts above, serve as the first uncle. It would be unfair for you to be ranked second. Xiao Chui, you can understand. I am particularly satisfied with the bangs. Sure enough, I should be the leader. Chui Daik flattered all night and was quite tired. Now that his goal has been achieved, he is ready to bid farewell. Second Grandpa, then I'll ask you to take care of me more in the future. It's getting late, so you should rest early. I should go now, Lu Haizhong politely said, don't drink more. No, no, we have plenty of opportunities in the future. Next time, I'll make some good things and come back to learn from you Shi Chui Daik shook his head, bowed deeply to the bangs, and left with a swaying motion. The bangs were delivered to the door and greeted, come back when you have time. Lu Haizhong really likes him, and he brings food with him. He is also so respectful, which makes him feel his life as a superior in advance. Compared to Chui Daik, the other young people in the yard are nothing and have no vision. They don't know how to show filial piety to their second uncle. Chui Daik walked through the hanging flower gates in the middle and backyards, and the shaky Shensi stood straight in one fell swoop. Bah, official fans. Chui Daik gave a sinister smile as he thought about what he had just escaped. In the future, you can be my sword and the backer of the courtyard. I, Chui Daik, have stood firm in the city and can also stand firm in this small courtyard. Glancing at the silly Zhu and Jia families again, he spat two mouthfuls of saliva. You too, wait for me. If you dare to play with me, I'll have to deal with you sooner or later. Thinking of something beautiful, Chui Daik walked back home with a smile on his face. This scene was not seen by anyone else, but it was actually seen by Yi Zhonghai, who woke up at night to use the restroom and came back. I thought it was really Lao Lu who was a little smarter today, but I didn't expect it to be Chui Daik, this little bastard, who is the one behind it. As an old brother, who has known Lu Haizhong for decades, Yi Zhonghai naturally knows that sometimes Lu Haizhong is smart and sometimes foolish. In the evening, he really thought he was going to make a fuss. Now, at first glance, this newly moved Chui De can be behind the scenes. Maybe they were having a celebration banquet just now. Lu Haizhong wanted to bring Yi Zhonghai down, but if he didn't succeed, he naturally felt like a failure. What Kui Zhonghai is thinking is that today he has once again dealt a blow to his morality. In recent years, there have been several times in a row. If morality had health, its health would have decreased too quickly, and it would not be able to regain health. Once something happens, it's a big cut off. The good things we do on a regular basis are too small and slow to come back. 
I originally planned to rely on the solar stove to take a big bite back this time, but it happened again in the bangs. This Chui Dake is also a troublemaker like Su Dumel. I need to be careful in the future and let Silly Zhu deal with him a few more times to see if he can be honest. After hiding for a while, Yi Zhonghai saw that Chui Dake had finally entered the room, and he quickly went home. It's still outside at night, isn't it cold? Yi Zhonghai is planning to go out and use the restroom, but he doesn't wear much clothes. He doesn't feel cold at this age. It's easy to say during the day, but it's really cold when the light wind blows at night the next day before dawn, Gao Lin woke up to smell the aroma of steamed buns that he rainwater had specially woken up early and hurriedly came over to steam. Pushing aside the plum tree, putting down the pudding, lowering the crossbeam, Gao Lin dressed and walked out. Taking a strong sniff of the aroma in the air, Gao Lin raised his eyebrows. Little rainwater, I've grown in my skills. This beef and scallion bun is really good. He rainwater smiled proudly. Pour hot water for Gao Lin, then bring over toothpaste, toothbrush, and towel, and then sweetly smile and say. You've been cooking a big meal yourself lately, and I can help you by working harder. Gao Lin brushed his teeth and couldn't speak, so he could only tug at a running little face to show his indulgence. He ran with his cheeks and ears turning red all at once, trying to hold back from running. He ran into the house with one or two thrusts. After Gao Lin finished washing up, several women were finally barely called out by the rain. Hurry up and I'll go call the children. Without waiting for a response, Gao Lin picked up the curtain and opened the door, strolling towards Liang Lady's house. As soon as I walked towards the entrance, I saw Su Damao actually starting two stoves, one for boiling medicine and the other for cooking. Su Damao is one of the few people in the courtyard who eats breakfast. Other people don't mean not to eat breakfast, but they are not serious about eating compared to modern times. They often drink kanji to fill their stomach with water. Most of the people in this courtyard house are factory workers, and in other places, there are even two or one meals, not to mention three meals a day. Gao Lin walked up close and took a look. He added noodles, eggs, and a small piece of lard. The food was good. Pointing to two stoves, Gao Lin asked. De Mao, what are you doing with western scenery? Su Damao glanced up, ignored Gao Lin, and then lowered his head to focus on cooking noodles. Sprinkle a handful of scallions, add some vinegar, and Su Damao directly serves the pot on the table without saying he will take out the noodles. After making another pot of water, Su Damao finally spoke up. What's up, master? Are you planning to have some food with me? Good guy, as soon as you speak, you'll be old Yin Yang master. Isn't it just about asking about medicine? Isn't it just curious that you suddenly need to take medicine? Is your illness so serious? Isn't it just that I saw you early in the morning and wanted to make a joke out of you? Did I go too far? Su Dumao nodded and gritted his teeth, pulling out a sneer. Pretty good. Over. Over. Gao Lin covered his mouth and said, Did I just say that? You said it. Su Dumao rolled his white eyes and stared at Gao Lin. I feel comfortable now. If you didn't reply to me just now, I won't play with you. Let's see you later. You can eat first, and we'll go eat too. Gao Lin smiled slightly and turned to enter Liang Lady's house. Watching three furry individuals still sleeping, they would slap each other three times. With a thought, Mao Mao covered his buttocks and hid under the blanket. Seeing this, Gao Lin still doesn't understand. The physics method of waking up is useless. Gao Lin deliberately spoke out in a helpless tone, Aunt Rainwater steamed all the big meat buns with beef today. Unfortunately, she didn't make enough, and I don't know if she will be eaten up by a few ants if she goes late. The three radish heads suddenly became mentally alert and quickly poked their heads out of the blanket to look at Gao Lin, just like some animal hatching. Really? Uncle Gao Lin, you can't watch us deceive us. Not only them, but also Xiu'er walked out of the room, eagerly looking at Gao. 
As soon as Gao Lin saw Xiu Er walking out barefoot, he quickly picked her up and patted her chest, promising that. When did I tell lies? A few little guys think about it, I haven't had any contact in the past six months. Everyone cheered and wanted to rush over. Gao Lin blocked the door and pointed his fingers at a few people. Put on your clothes, go wash yourself up, otherwise you won't have your share. The three furries looked at each other before quickly flipping through their clothes and putting them on their bodies. Gao Lin lowered his head and looked into his arms, then whispered in excitement, asking. Can Xiu Er handle it herself? No, I'll call your mother over. Xiu Er was also not ambiguous, with a small chest and a high head. No problem, Xiu Er is really amazing. She's not a child of three or four anymore. Upon hearing this, Gao Lin smiled and put Xiu Er down to let her do it on her own. He also messed up with words, how old did Xiu Er learn how to dress? At the age of three, Xiu Er will do it. What about washing and grooming yourself? Four years old. How old are you now? Xiu Er is already five years old, she is a big child. That Xiu Er is really amazing. When the last Xiu Er came out, all three of them were anxious, jumping up and down restlessly for a moment. All right, all right, Xiu Er has finally come out, let's go. Mao Mao shouted and ran back, while Xiu Er followed closely and started running. Gao Lin didn't go to Liang Lady's side and walked towards Ding Chunan's house. Before she could walk, Lu Xiao Yi opened the door and the two of them happened to bump into each other. Lu Xiao Yi glanced at Su Damao with a pleasing expression on her face, pursed her lips, ordered a medicine jar, snorted, and turned back to prepare for dinner. Su Damao wondered, what does Lu Xiao mean by this? Watching Gao Lin deliberately walk back slowly, Su Damao caught up with him in three or two steps and grabbed him. Lu Xiao walked ahead, and Su Damao dared not speak, afraid of being scolded again and affecting the child he was pregnant with. Just pulled Gao Lin hard twice and pointed to his own home. Gao Lin meeting, I walked back with Su Damao. Su Damao scratched his forehead and said in confusion. School. Gao Lin, you have a good brain. Please help me analyze and analyze. Just now, Lu Xiaoyi pouted and pointed at the medicine jar. What does she mean? What else does it mean? She knows what kind of illness you are, no matter how much medicine you take, it won't cure you. She jokes at you for wasting all your effort. Of course, knowing is knowing, but it cannot be explicitly stated, otherwise there will be no fun to watch. Gao Lin put on a string-like posture, rubbing his chin with his left hand and pulling with his right hand. No good, it's obvious that you're not satisfied with pouting. Pointing with your finger means you're not satisfied. Not satisfied with your medicine jar. Hmm, yes, not satisfied with the taste of your Chinese medicine. She's pregnant, maybe she can't handle the smell of traditional Chinese medicine and feels uncomfortable. She's warning you not to cook here. After analyzing, Gao Lin nodded confidently. With reason and evidence, Su Damao listened with great admiration. How about you say you're smart? You can tell what's going on right away. Do you really believe the lies you made up? Gao Lin didn't expect Su Damao to not even notice such a simple lie, perhaps because the child was too important to him. Patted Su Damao's shoulder. Anyway, you can't have sex either. I just made it impossible for you to do more evil. After thinking about it, Gao Lin relaxed a lot and said with a smile. Do you think about cooking medicine in the future, how and where? I have to go back for dinner. I'll be late if I don't wait. Chapter 4 Going out is like playing RPG games, always with new characters joining the team. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Seeing Gao Lin go away, Su Damao thought for a while and whispered, I can't do it. I have to go back to my hometown to cook medicine and confess to my parents. Ignoring Su Damao, Gao Lin returned home and saw that everyone had already started. They also keep a portion for themselves in their seats, which is quite conscientious. 
Otherwise, they will have to be severely punished. Gao Lin quickly sat down to eat. One mouthful of beef dumplings, one mouthful of pickled cucumber, and one mouthful of millet porridge. It's very beautiful. They are all signed in ingredients, and we don't eat much. After eating millet kanji, the remaining steamed buns are just for lunch. During the cleaning process, Gao Lin Sai gave each child two pieces of milk candy. Warning, said, you must finish it today, otherwise I won't teach you martial arts tonight. All four children have a bit of a deficit, and it has been over three months since they started practicing martial arts. The child is young and dare not take drastic measures, so they can only slowly make up for it. I'm afraid they'll go crazy playing at school and consume a lot of energy, so I can only give them some check that I end snacks. Don't scare others by eating when you're hungry at school. Big White Rabbit Thank you, Uncle Gao Lin. The four of them were lying comfortably when they were full and stuffed with something. They looked down and burst into laughter. However, the thought of having to eat two candies today immediately triggered a feeling of luxury and reluctance. Gao Lin looked at the four small faces filled with words and wanted to smile. He quickly comforted, if you all eat it, you will have it every day in the future. This is a good thing, and you are not allowed to give it to anyone else. After thinking for a moment, the children seemed too unique, and then he said, if you have good friends and you also want to share with them, come and ask me. The candy you eat is specially made, which is good for your martial arts practice. Just give them ordinary ones. A few children just started laughing. Is there sugar to eat, or is there sugar to eat every day? How happy! After everything was tidied up and cleaned up, the group walked out of the house in a grand manner. Glancing around, Lu Haizhong went to the factory in advance. He enjoyed the treatment of a leader at Chui Daik's place yesterday and wanted to talk to his disciple again. What? How did Gao Lin know? Damn it, if Gao Lin wants to listen, he can hear what the whole hospital is doing. When Lu Guangtian saw the crowd, he quickly drank a bowl of porridge in two or three mouthfuls, picked up two cakes and ran up, intending to eat while walking. Su Damao should have just received a reminder from Gao Lin to leave early after drinking the medicine, afraid of touching Lu Xiao's mold. The deaf old lady was relieved to drink the porridge sent by Yi Zhonghai. I secretly glanced at Gao Lin, full of resentment. It's not only due to the chilly incident a few days ago, but also because he calls his neighbors to eat twice a day, which saves him resentment. Why take care of them without taking care of oneself, without suffering from widowhood and inequality? Moreover, the deaf old lady is the closest in a straight line to the door of the Gao Lin family, and she can occasionally smell the fragrance released by opening and closing the door, which is too tempting. As for other supporting role. I'm um, walking to the courtyard, the door of the silly pillar's house is still closed. A master who is late, leaves early, and doesn't work, doesn't even wake up until 9 or 10 o'clock, and goes to the factory to sit on a chair and watch his disciple stir-fry. Without a small stove, there's no need for Mr. Silly Pillar. Yi Zhonghai did come out, clean and spirited, and joined forces with Gao Lin. Yi Zhonghai looked enviously at the three little boys and greeted them with a smile. Xiao Gao, have you eaten everything? Take the children here to have some food. There is nothing good, just kanji with stick noodles, steamed buns and spicy cabbage. Who doesn't know who in the courtyard? The Gao Lin family eats three meals a day, and the neighbors know it. I just didn't expect Gao to eat so well. I thought it was because he ate thin food and Gao Lin ate dry food. Yi Zhonghai is just being polite and polite. If you don't have anything to say, just say hello. Gao Lin patted the Mao's belly and answered with a smile. Thank you, Grandpa. No need. Look, the children are all full. At this moment, Qin Huairu pushed the door open and walked out. Yi Zhonghai instinctively greeted as if he had just imagined before, and at first glance it was Qin Huairu, so let's forget it. If that's really the case, Qin Huairu will quickly come and serve the whole pot. 
If Yi Zhonghai hadn't cared about this kind of food before, but after getting married recently, he's spending money like water, making himself a little regretful. Yi Zhonghai didn't say hello, but Gao Lin said, Qin Huiru, have you eaten it? What's wrong, sister? Can you still treat sister to some food if she hasn't eaten it yet? Qin Huiru said as she smiled and glanced at Li Jianjian next to her. The pointed female hero didn't get angry either and countered with a smile, Oh no, if you haven't eaten yet and still want to plan your meal, we won't wait for you to leave first. If you have eaten, we can go together. Qin Huiru quickly begged for mercy and said, All right, all right, both of you have good brains. I can't beat you, let's walk. Everyone smiled. I didn't take it seriously. Chui Daik glanced at Qin Huiru, then lowered his head and carefully glanced at the silly Zhu family with the corner of his eye, only then caught up and integrated into the Gao Lin group. The team has grown stronger and stronger. The team drove into the front yard again, and Nan Yi was already waiting at the door. Seeing the team leisurely, he walked in. San Yi was watering onions at the door again, and Gao Lin smiled and asked, San Yi, why are you watering onions here again? You're not afraid of the smell of scallions on your body, making students afraid of you. The third master didn't get angry either. It's not that you gave me the bad idea of giving up your hobbies and returning to life, asking me not to plant flowers anymore, but to plant some scallions, ginger, and garlic. But every time you come from me, you always come to joke at me. Gao Lin raised his hand and said, How much money did you save? If you're not willing, I can't force you, can I? Gao Lin stopped the third master and could only pretend to be angry, saying, Let's go, let's go quickly. If you don't go again, you will be late. Everyone walks to work, but the third uncle rides a bike to work, so he can naturally leave later. Gao Lin won't argue much anymore as he had a verbal advantage. He shouted inside, Sandama, please. Then Gao Lin and Li Jianjian easily pushed the baby strollers of the two children into the house of the third master. After coming out, continue walking outside and pass by the inverted room, where Yan Jicheng and Yu Li also join in. Gao Lin looked at Yu Li and asked, Yu Li, you've been six months now. When have you decided to rest? Yu Li counted her fingers and said, There are only 56 days of maternity leave in total with a due date in mid-August. One month off after giving birth and one month off before giving birth, at least until July. Gao Lin nodded and whispered, with your current physical condition, be careful and there's no problem. Don't worry. Yuli also nodded along. Leaving the gate of the courtyard, Qin Huiru suddenly stopped to look at Gao Lin. Qin Huiru, what's wrong? Is there anything wrong? Gao Lin also stopped along, Xiao Gao, you've been moving in for two years now. Why are you still calling me your full name? We're all neighbors, and you look like you're not close at all. It's like you're angry and want to curse someone. I don't know how Qin Huiru remembered this incident, so she stood there and started asking questions. Everyone stopped looking and wanted to hear what Gao Lin said. This is how it is these days. Strangers don't matter but when an acquaintance calls like this, it's like the other person has offended you and you're going to fight. They have been neighbors for many years, and there are more people calling nicknames than names. The real name of a person with a silly surname is quickly forgotten by everyone. Well, not only back then, but also now. Everyone here can give it a try and call your significant other's full name to see if they think you're angry. But this didn't make it difficult for Gao Lin. With a flick of his eye, Gao Lin casually replied, Qin Huiru, what do you want me to call you? Jia's sister. In. Law. It's not good, don't bring up any more sad things for you. Jia Qin's family. Oh, why do you suddenly feel like your Jia Zhang family is just as old? Bang you his mother. No, 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 people still think I'm Jia Gu. Huiru. It's not suitable either. My goosebumps have started to rise. Qin sister. My dear sister. This is not suitable, 
I can't even pass the previous level. Xiao Qin. No, you're even older than me. Others should say I have no rules. You see, I think Qin Huai Ru is suitable. However, being too close won't cause misunderstandings. So you just need to get used to it. Gao Lin's words left Qin Huai Ru stunned. Isn't it just a title? I just want to get closer to you and take advantage of it. Who knew you came up with such a bunch of excuses? Qin Huai Ru carefully analyzed and found that there were indeed no other good titles, which made her somewhat discouraged. How could it be so difficult to develop another silly pillar like this? Looking into the team, don't think about Yan Jiching anymore. His old Yan family is the ancestor of stinginess. Grandpa is too shrewd, he can only maintain his current state, and can be considered to have taken half of it. Lu Guangtian No way, in case I get close, when Bang Gung goes to the Lu family, the second uncle will help me educate and educate the child. Beating me up won't hurt me so much. Chui Daik broke free and ran away on his own Nan Yi. How could I forget him? I wanted to tie him up a while ago. Another thing is the absent Su Damao, who is both wealthy and willing to spend money. Giving him some sweet treats can be beneficial. This time, two large blood bags were discovered, and Qin Huairu's face finally improved, completely letting go of the Gao Lin family who couldn't suck blood. Qin Huairu also has self-awareness. She can navigate between men with her own conditions, but if she wants to suck blood from women, who else would give her something except for the stupid one? Here is a key criticism of a foolish goose surnamed Lu. If it weren't for the reminder from her best friends, she might have known Qin Huairu's character and even been deceived by her pretending to be pitiful and giving her something. A group of people gathered at work, and as they continued to move forward, Li Jian Jian, Lu Xiaoyi, and He Rainwater left the Q1 after another. After entering the steel rolling mill, Gao Lin, who worked the most freely, took his four children and safely sent them to the affiliated primary school and daycare center of Zhang's steel plant. The others went straight to their posts. The factory is built together with schools and daycare centers for the convenience of management and for the convenience of workers picking up and dropping off children. When he arrived at his destination, Gao Lin just opened his mouth and without saying a word, the four little ones rushed to answer. Study hard and make progress every day. Listen to the teacher, try not to cause trouble, and protect Xior. Amazing! you all learn to answer quickly. Looking at the children like this, Gao Lin couldn't help but smile bitterly. Ha ha ha. The four little guys seem to have completed some incredible task, slapping each other and laughing together. Gao Lin smiled at their appearance. All right, all right, remember to pay attention to safety, let's all go in. Raising his hand to check the time, Gao Lin still gave a warning. The children really ran in this time, waving and shouting, Got it, Uncle Gao Lin. Goodbye. Until a few people all entered, Gao Lin turned around and walked towards the technical department. Returning to the office, Gao Lin was one of the few who personally worked hard to fetch water and brew tea, and it took him a long time to sit down. Originally, these were all done by Yu Li, who worked as a secretary. Assistant. However, as her pregnancy became increasingly apparent, Gao Lin instructed her to stay at the logistics office of the solar stove workshop for now, without having to run back and forth. Yu Li can work nearby and chat and relieve stress with the logistics staff. When Li really has something to do, these experienced sisters can also help. So these miscellaneous tasks can only be done by oneself, and I have to personally go to various workshops every day to review documents. I can't bring an assistant or take in students anymore it seems that it's not impossible either. Other engineers lead students and technicians, and all the odd jobs are rushed by students. I hope to learn more knowledge and experience from teachers, and I can do the same. Gao Lin couldn't help but think of this and quickly went to find Zhang Daqiang. The other level 7 engineer is getting older, not very healthy, and lacks energy, so he focuses his main energy on the project and leaves all other matters to Zhang Daqiang. 
that's also why Chang Gu is the boss. Chang, my assistant should be on maternity leave soon. There are still available technicians left. Can you use two of them as assistants for me? Watching Gao Lin running excitedly, Zhang Daqiang resisted the urge to roll his eyes. You're like a leak when you're idle as a technician. Just take one wave and you'll attract another. Now that we have masters in our technical department, even Su Zhen has two with him. Who wouldn't have let you not care at that time? Zero speaking, Zhang Daqiang gave Gao Lin a glare and said, I asked you to lead and teach them more, but you only taught them and didn't accept any. Who's to blame? Gao Lin is quite embarrassed, isn't this too cautious of oneself? At this time, the master-apprentice relationship was too close. I had just graduated, and I was too young. Coupled with not knowing their character when I first arrived, how could I be a master to take on their lives? After thinking for a moment, Gao Lin tentatively said, Chang, there weren't many people in our technical department last year. Why can't we have ten or eight this year? What kind of beautiful thing to think of? Universities and colleges need to be related majors. How many can we make in our factory? Those with lower education backgrounds don't want to take a walk in the workshop. When we see that the workshop earns more than our department, offers higher benefits, and is easier to advance than us, why don't we stay in the workshop? Who's still here? It can be seen that Zhang Daqiang is indeed quite angry. The workers all feel that their role is significant, and the workpieces are all made by themselves. The technical department is responsible for repairing and repairing equipment, and they spend all day pointing fingers and making decisions. How can they think of more things? Management of product quality, work quality, process level, technology and equipment upgrades, and production plans these are the reasons why our factory stands out from many other factories, because our factory has strong capabilities. If there were only workers, it would be called a processing workshop. Unfortunately, some people still don't understand. It's always because of personal emotions that don't cooperate. As the leader of the technical department, can Zhang Daqiang not be angry? Chapter 5 Logistics Big Sisters Can't Afford to Provoke You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Gao Lin knew that because of this kind of thing, Chang Gu was much angrier, so he just had to rest for a while. After careful consideration, Gao Lin summarized, that is to say, either look at any senior public willing to come to the technical department. No, no, they may be apprentices to others. Halfway through, Gao Lin denied it again. We can only wait until graduation season to see if the leaders are strong enough, and then go to various schools to invite people, or if we are lucky, we can allocate a few. Right. Zhang Daqiang finished tapping the table, which could be considered as venting. Upon hearing this, he nodded. Gao Lin calculated in his heart that it was almost during Yu Li's vacation, and it seemed that he couldn't afford to slack off on this during this period. Okay, then I'll have to run to the workshop more often during this period. If no one delivers the documents, I'll have to go and retrieve them myself. Watching Gao Lin sigh, Zhang Daqiang felt a headache. Gao Lin is quite diligent in his work, why is he so lazy in his life? Lazy is lazy, just don't delay work. Zhang Daqiang sighed and remembered another thing. As soon as you arrived, you talked about the assistance matter and almost forgot about the main matter. As you happen to be here, I didn't go there again, in a few days, the May Day Parade will be celebrated, and the visiting groups of ethnic minorities May Day have arrived one after another. The members of the visiting group's industrial system will definitely visit various factories. Please be prepared, and if you come to our factory, you will be responsible for receiving them. As soon as he thought of a group of people being polite and having to accompany them around, explaining, and eating, Gao Lin shook his head in frustration. Brother Chang, my identity is not equal, but I must have you as a big shot to take over. I'll just forget it. Gao Lin looked at Zhang Daqiang with sincere eyes, hoping that he could personally take action. 
Is it suitable for me to accompany you? said Zhang Daqiang with a stern expression. Zhang Daqiang's face stiffened, as if Bao Gong was going to hear a case, which seemed inappropriate. Moreover, Chang Gu was also clumsy in his mouth, but he was a naive person in his heart. Su Zhen. Brother Chang, Su Zhen is both talkative and knowledgeable. It's definitely not a problem to have him accompany him. Zhang Daqiang gave a rare bad smile and said lightly. Tomorrow I will arrange for him to go to the south for a month of exchange, so he won't be able to do it. What does tomorrow's arrangement mean? You intentionally targeted me, fat tiger. But it really doesn't feel like going out. It's too painful to go on a long trip at this time, just sitting in the car for several days. So. Seeing Gao Linhai wanting to bargain, Zhang Daqiang directly said. The only engineers who can be hired in the factory are you and Qian Lao. If you don't get hired, Qian Lao will have to come on his own. Damn it, you cow, I'll come as soon as I come, but Su Zhen has left. You're taking on his work, I don't care. There's no way you want to give me processing quantity. Now Zhang Daqiang also hesitated. However, considering that the two technicians led by Su Zhen should be able to withstand it and solve the key problems on their own, there was no further delay. Then let's settle it this way. All right, let's hurry and leave if there's nothing else. Sure enough, with people facing forward instead of facing back, I ended up with a small face, but now it's getting cold again. Speaking of which, a bad laugh can be considered a laugh, right? Gao Lin left the technical department and went to find Yuli first. Hey, rare customer, tall engineer. You don't usually come to our logistics here. What's going on today? You came specifically to see the little beauty. As soon as Gao Lin showed his head, he joked about the birth of Sister Li. Speaking of statistics, they are still rushing to work as the female chairman of the factory. You said I don't come here much, dare I come. You must eat me now. Miss Li showed mercy by saying that both Yu Li and I have gotten married, and Yu Li's husband's family is still a neighbor of our courtyard. As soon as your words are spread, how can we get along with each other as neighbors? We must use our dog's brains. Gao Lin raised the report in his left hand and then lifted the melon seeds in his right hand, carefully saying. Isn't this not because Lily's body is inconvenient? I'll let her stay here and stop running around. I'll come and get the documents. These are just my filial piety. Please be patient, sisters. The female workers in the factory are amazing, unite and even ignite the factory director. Listening to Gao Lin jokingly saying filial piety, these steel mill bullies finally laughed. Gao Lin breathed a sigh of relief. Upon closer inspection, the niece of the factory secretary, the sister in law of the deputy factory director, the chairman of the factory women's committee, and the daughter in law of the factory security department it's all unacceptable. I can't fight, the background is strong, what can you do to get rid of the little prank? Gao Lin dare not delay any longer, just leave after Li Sua finishes speaking, otherwise who knows what they will want to do again. Yuli, this. Today. Tomorrow. Visiting group. Gao Lin arranged his recent work in one breath and immediately dodged to run, brother, are you just not treating us like this? You're leaving without even saying a word. The secretary's niece looked at Gao Lin with a look of grievance on her face. If she had dropped some eye drops to make her eyes watery, it would have been even more like. Gao Lin is just afraid of trouble and being teased by a group of married women, not afraid of them. But if you have already taken action, then I cannot fight back. Accountant Chang, based on my appearance, if I say a few more words to you, your fiancé A will be jealous. You. The accountant immediately widened his eyes. What? Is my fiancé A ugly? He is the military grass of the entire military region. Glancing up and down at Gao Lin, he carefully stared at his ordinary face, and Accountant Chang shamefully left a drool. Okay, it seems like it's a bit close. The accountant's aura suddenly decreased, 
and his face blushed as he retreated. Gao Lin looked at someone who had lost in confusion. Why are you blushing? It's not my fault. As soon as the elder sisters saw the little sisters, they wanted to come up again and win back. Gao Lin didn't give them a chance and opened the door before rushing out. I turned around and then turned to the workshop of Yi Zhonghai. This time, Yi Zhonghai did not personally teach Qin Huiru. Instead, he held a teapot and wandered behind everyone's backs, saying who was wrong, but not saying what to do. Causing chaos among the workers has actually affected their work by 3.8. Gao Lin looked at it and shook his head. So why do I always refer to Yan Bugue as the third master in my heart now, and you too are still called by your names? The root cause lies in this. The third master is cunning and likes to take advantage of things, but he won't get stuck in the dead. He has a bottom line in his character and also cares about the neighbors in the yard. And Yu Yi Zhonghai and Lu Haizhong don't care whether others die or not, just focus on your own comfort. We can't let him influence others anymore. Gao Lin approached and said, Grandpa, you're busy. Hmm <laughs> hmm. I'm not here to see what everyone is doing wrong, just point them out and let them improve and improve. Yi Zhonghai's words are grandiose, but you are telling them how to correct them the workers who were, pointed out, dared and not complain, but still secretly turned a blind eye to Yi Zhonghai. Gao Lin also dismantled the platform for him and said, Grandpa, then you need to work harder. I have looked at the recent production data, and your workshop's quantity and excellent rate this month are significantly lower than other workshops. The benefits are definitely less than others. If it's still like this next month, then your face won't look good either. Why is it like this? It's not because the incident caused by Yi Zhonghai's physical examination went viral, and his biological grandson disappeared, and the final guarantee for elderly care disappeared like this. So I didn't have much energy to work this month, and the number of high dot quality and difficult work pieces suddenly decreased significantly. In addition, he wanted to find more retirement candidates but was reluctant to invest, which became just pointing out mistakes without saying how to change them, deluding people to accept his feelings. Not doing work and blindly guiding others, disrupting their pace, making it difficult for others to work well, and the efficiency of the entire workshop is not good. I was able to complete the plan on time, but everyone else exceeded it. This workshop completed it on time, which highlighted it. Thinking of Yi Zhonghai's various behaviors over the past month, all the workers looked angrily at him, with a strong plan to fight 25 times if they didn't agree. Yi Zhonghai was also taken aback and quickly asked. Senior engineer, we complete tasks on time and in quantity every day. How could we deduct our benefits? The workers were also puzzled and fixed their eyes on Gao Lin, hoping that he would say that he was joking just now. Gao Lin waved his hand and smiled. You are completing on time and according to the quantity, while others are completing ahead of schedule, exceeding the quantity and quality. Everyone's basic benefits will definitely be provided as usual, but our workshop used to be an advanced workshop with many factories competing for additional materials as additional benefits. These additional benefits will definitely be given to workers who have made more contributions, and our results this month. The workers finally understood what was going on, and their hearts grew even more resentful towards Yi Zhonghai. Not only to Yi Zhonghai, some people also complained about Gao Lin. Senior engineer, why didn't you tell us earlier about such a thing? If you told us earlier, we might still be able to catch up. However, some people were reasonable and said, why didn't the senior engineer mention it? I remember when he said it several times in his teens, you guys kept clamoring that you could definitely complete the workload. He's a technical person who knows how to work. Watching everyone start arguing, Gao Lin knew that this was the time to exert ideological education and stood up and said. Don't blame me for saying it at this moment. I said it several times in mid-month, but nobody took it seriously. If I don't say it, you will understand when you send out things next month. But next month's work will still be like this, and you will be missing one month's additional benefits. So, comrades, 
don't take this mistake too seriously, but it's not too serious either. The benefits were reduced this time, so next time everyone should work hard and strive to be the first place every time, getting the most and best benefits. I didn't succeed this time. I'll work harder next time, don't you think so? Subconsciously shouting, yes. Yes. And then I thought, yes. I just didn't win it once. This month won't do. Let's work harder next month. The workers all applauded. Gao Lin looked at the data report in his hand and nodded with satisfaction. Sun Ran mobilized the positive emotions of the workers, which was the responsibility of the propaganda department, but it all affected the production plan, and the technical department must solve it. So Gao Lin specifically communicated with the publicity department, and if he wants to gain power, let them take advantage of the publicity department. Otherwise, the workers will barely finish this month, and they may not be able to finish it next month. Besides, once human laziness is mobilized, it becomes difficult to be diligent. We cannot let the people in this workshop be destroyed by Yi Zhonghai and become lazy thugs. After everyone's emotions had calmed down a bit, Gao Lin said again. I hope everyone remembers this lesson, takes it as a warning in the future, and strives to be the first. All right, let's all disperse, work hard with peace of mind, and work harder next month. Gao Lin smiled at Yi Zhonghai, then turned around and walked out of the workshop, rushing to the next venue. This time, it was not that Yi Zhonghai provoked Gao Lin, who deliberately retaliated, but the fact was that. Gao Lin tried to dissuade Yi Zhonghai and the workshop workers several times, but it didn't work. If we don't wait for a few days to deliver, people will hate Gao Lin, the supervisor of production progress, for not reminding them early. Now that we say this, it can help workers work harder in the future, prevent Yi Zhonghai from harming everyone, and also point out the culprits and clarify responsibilities. Gao Lin has left, but Yi Zhonghai is still there, and everyone is gathering around. Master Yi, the decrease in production this month is not my fault. Who makes you always say behind my back that I made a mistake, but without saying where I made a mistake and how to make changes, it keeps me thinking about the right method. Not only for guidance, but also always wandering around to share my feelings, only lecturing Widow Chin about her skills, and even threatening others, give him a hand and make workpieces for Widow Chin. The workshop director couldn't help but complain, that's it, Yi Gong. I'm watching. You haven't made many high-dot-quality high-dot-end workpieces this month, you're just fooling people around. Every time Yi Zhonghai thought about speaking, he was pushed by someone he didn't know. Whenever he thought about speaking, he was pushed and couldn't speak. Everyone's emotions are getting more and more excited, and the more they talk, the more angry they are, and the more they push Yi Zhonghai. The crowd in front of Yi Zhonghai extended a hand and forcefully pushed it against his chest. Someone from behind him also kicked him in the knee socket. The human circle followed Yi Zhonghai's movement without anyone helping him or blocking him. Yi Zhonghai stumbled and took two steps back, and in the end, his legs softened and he knelt on the ground. At this moment, the person in front reacted and wanted to stop. The person behind didn't know, and someone shouted, kill him an old man. Pushing and squeezing people is just like the situation when a stampede accident occurs. The people in the innermost circle of 617 were all forced to push forward, kicking and stepping on Yi Zhonghai with their feet, and their knees could be on Yi Zhonghai's body. It took a while for everyone to realize what had happened, and with a crash, they all dispersed, revealing Yi Zhonghai kneeling on the ground in the middle. Yi Zhonghai knew that his high status was due to his craftsmanship, so he firmly protected his hands, but his body was not as beautiful anymore. Fortunately, there were not many people around, only a few dozen or so. Yi Zhonghai was not a big deal, but his whole body was covered in footprints and his nose and face were swollen. Don't think the injury is minor yet. There is a saying that goes, don't hit someone in the face, don't expose someone when cursing. People are all good at saving face. You hit me with bruises all over my body, and no one can tell when I'm wearing clothes. It's okay, I'll find it again in the future. 
but if you hit me in the face, others will see at a glance that I am injured and lose my share. If he could choose at this time, Yi Zhonghai would rather have a broken leg than a facial injury. Yi Zhonghai is already at this age, isn't he just living to save face? Even the elderly care that has always been a concern is not someone who wants to throw dishes and play games, but rather someone who is afraid of being taken care of respectfully in the hospital bed and living a shameless life. The workshop director and Qin Huairu quickly stepped forward and helped the person up. When they looked up and down, they all had muscle damage hurt, not even a single bone injury. The workers were also afraid of accidentally stepping on someone and breathed a sigh of relief when they saw nothing was wrong. Is Chapter 6 About Liveliness? Thank you, Brother Bin, for your monthly pass to the top 666. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Master E, did you just realize your mistake and kneel down like Qin Yen to apologize? Hee <laughs> hee, don't say it, it looks quite similar. That's right, who is Master E? He's an 8th level worker. Learning to be a bad person is like pinching with a handle, vivid and vivid. Ha ha ha. Although I still hate Yi Zhonghai for missing out on additional benefits, such a fuss can be considered as barely venting most of my resentment. As long as he doesn't commit it again, this article will be flipped over. They were venting their anger, and Gao Lin also listened quite enthusiastically. While mobilizing for other workshops and listening to the big play starring Yi Zhonghai, that's just a beauty. Why are you mobilizing other workshops again? Isn't that normal? These are all routine operations. Like what, you are the worst student I have ever led. Your group's performance this month is the lowest. Hurry up, all the flowers I've been waiting for have withered. The novel you wrote is the worst I have ever seen. Hurry up and find a factory to work in. Oh, the last one is not. The first three are all encouraging. It's just that what Yi Zhonghai said was the truth, while other workshops are just encouraging and praising. Busy. In the morning, it was soon time for dinner. I didn't go to the cafeteria to gather this time. The gathering location was chosen at the logistics of the solar stove workshop where Yuli is located. Gao Lin made a portion of sour and spicy potato shreds and a portion of pickled cabbage at Nani, and also took out the morning beef buns, a box of Krushan carp tofu, and a box of orange grilled fish. There are dishes made with Nani's superb craftsmanship, as well as high dot end ingredients that are fine. Enjoy both deliciousness at the same time, it's delicious. By the time Gao Lindao arrived, Liang Lady and Ding Chunan had already arrived, but unexpectedly, this group of big sisters were also present. Miss Li, are all the sisters here? Are you going to eat? Don't worry. We'll have a meal with fewer people later. Li Jia looked at Gao Lin with a smile and didn't say much with just one answer. The daughter dot in dot law of the head of the factory security department, Sun Jia, has become more direct and directly requested. Xiao Gao, I heard from my family that you can fight better than Xiao Chen. I don't believe it, unless you show me. Xiao Chen. Oh, Chen Weigua, director of Chen University. Take a look. After hesitating for a moment, Gao Lin asked, Miss Sun, what do you mean by, take a look, dot? Let's just look at your muscles, can we still treat you like a melon? Sun Jia and her husband are said to have both switched careers in the military. Now, one is Chen Weigua's superior and the other is in charge of personnel in the factory. They are both big shots and can't afford to be provoked. Li, the sister dot in dot law of deputy factory manager, and the warehouse manager Lin Xiaohua, smiled and said, it's okay to look at the melon. I'll see how it's better than my own, and see if it's different from others. Got it. Besides being easy to deal with as a young accountant, these middle-aged women in their thirties and forties are even more impressive than men when it comes to driving. They are all old drivers, so what else are they installing? I won't install either. Cough cough, no way. They tease you based on the background. If you dare to counter tease, the big shot doesn't have to act directly. 
just promoting it to you will lead to social death. Quickly shift the topic. Sisters, these days the visiting group has come to the factory. Do you want to come out and play? Li Jie. Are you a receptionist? Do you want to push away trouble? Sun Jie. I'm not interested. Director Lin. It's boring. The accountant said, it's not easy to play. These women haven't done anything wrong, haven't really offended themselves, and have a background. They just cling to themselves, unable to fight or scold, and unable to get rid of them. Gao Lin simply lay flat and said, you guys, tell me what you want to do. I can see that I'm not satisfied with your wishes. I'm afraid you'll be haunted by the heavens. Sister Sun heaved a sigh of relief and glared at the little sisters. That's good. We can talk straight away. You have to go around and around, wasting your time. The accountant threw himself into Sun's arms and comforted her, is it true or is Sun right? We don't have you as a female warrior, so why not be decisive? Being spoiled by accountant Chang, who is about the same age as her daughter, Sun Jie couldn't maintain her seriousness anymore. She smiled and nodded a bit the accountant's nose said helplessly, you little troublemaker. Li Jie looked at this scene with a mother's kind and filial daughter's face full of kindness. However, putting Gao Lin aside, it was not very good for her to play with, so she could only speak up on her own. Xiao Gao, we're not targeting you either. But as you can see, we're really bored and busy on a regular basis. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made such a big name in the factory. Isn't that right? One squinting, one female war god, one little playboy, and one pestering human spirit. No life pressure, no place to vent energy, only able to find fun everywhere every day. It's not possible for four people to engage in infighting. Chao Chao, Sun Tzu, Yuan Xu, Lu Bei, also don't know who can win the internal struggle. Gao Lin nodded in agreement and didn't speak, just waiting for the other person to continue speaking. Li Jie cursed at the little fox in secret and continued. School, recently, all the excitement in the factory is from your courtyard house, and we also want to get involved. Gao Lin remained silent. Sister Li doesn't understand. How can I know where your bottom line is if you don't answer? Sun Jie couldn't bear two people playing riddles here and interjected, saying. Please let us know if you have any good shows, and let us know if we have any actions. We will cooperate with each other, not interfere with each other, and we can have fun watching every day. Director Lin also intervened and said, you can do whatever you want then. If you feel that the technical department has too little free time, we can also help you transfer to the solar stove workshop where you invented as the director. With more money and less work, you can still have free time. So it's for this. No, not on the surface, but Gao Lin said lightly, we can form an alliance. It's okay to notify and cooperate. Li narrowed her eyes again and asked curiously, why forget it? Isn't it good to have an extra channel? Isn't it good to keep the excitement in your hands? Gao Lin shook his head, this is our, Li Haozhao not the same. Firstly, everything that happens is constantly changing. By the time I notify you, it may have ended before you even come. I cannot know in advance what will happen. As for cooperation, you can do whatever you want, and I won't interfere with you. I watch whenever there is excitement, and I don't usually take the initiative to create or even participate in big dramas. I'm used to being lazy and don't want to move. You can do whatever you want, just don't affect me. After listening to Gao Lin's words, the four people across from each other all showed expressions that made the three women inexplicable. The four of them looked at each other, nodded, and even exchanged a few glances. Li Jie just spoke up and said, All right, then let's make a deal. If you have any other ideas, feel free to come to us anytime. Don't worry, if I have any changes, I will definitely contact you as soon as possible. Gao Lin's tone affirms the road's luck. The five of them all burst into laughter. Chapter 7 Must not be. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Director Lin jokingly said, Li Jie, Sun Jie, Xiao Chang, look at the tall engineers carrying so many lunch boxes, why don't we eat here? As soon as Liang Lady heard this, she instinctively hugged all the lunch boxes, making people feel embarrassed. What a big truth, let's go, let's go to the restaurant, said Sun, the head of the Lin supervisor in a row with the help of Sun Jie, Director Lin awkwardly smiled and walked out the door first. The other three people greeted and followed suit. Everyone has left. Liang Lady finally breathed a sigh of relief. Yu Li stayed with them all morning and barely got to know each other. Ding Chunan simply doesn't know who those people are, of course, even if she does, she may not care too much. Only Liang Lady is the most nervous. She is not afraid of the factory director and secretary, because she knows that these leaders will not easily make things difficult for herself as a small widow, even if it is difficult, at most it is to find trouble at work. But who is Liang Lady, a level 5 welder? Not to mention being a pillar, but also not caring about some small slopes and obstacles. Besides, now with Gao Lin as the support, we are not afraid of starving the children. But these big sisters control the public opinion of the entire factory, and the power of the ante and ant circles is known without any question. It's okay to say that it affects oneself, but if it affects family and children, it can cause a lot of trouble. Liang Lady ran to the door and lifted the curtain to look outside, then closed the door and whispered to Gao Lin, What did you just say about 647? Why did I become more confused as I listened? Yuli nodded in agreement and said, I can guess that what you're saying is definitely not about watching the excitement, but I can't guess exactly what it is. Ding, don't understand human hearts, Chiu Nan. I didn't see it. Ding's desire to learn immediately surged. Gao Lin, talk. Gao Lin smiled and said, you will always encounter these things in the future. Think about them yourself first, and let's guess together after dinner tonight before I talk about them. Liang Lady was unwilling and hugged Gao's arm, shaking it and saying, Give me a hint. Gao Lin looked enjoying himself, but he just didn't speak. Yuli watched Liang Lady scratching her ears and cheeks, and was about to punish Gao Lin Shang. She reluctantly advised, Lady sister, forget it. This person doesn't want to say anything. No matter how much you tempt him, it's just for free. Why don't you think about it yourself? It can also exercise your abilities. Come on, let's have dinner. It's food time now, don't even think about puzzles or anything else. Seeing that Liang Lady was still a bit unwilling, Gao Lin quickly opened each lunchbox and pulled everyone over for a meal. Yuli looked at the fish again and asked curiously, Why have you been eating fish every day lately? CFCG, and it's different every time. Gao Lin touched his nose and couldn't help but tilt his eyes to one side. I can't say that the space is full of fish, can't I put it anymore? After some thought, Gao Lin found a reliable reason. Fish and meat are the best. It's convenient for me to practice my craft, and I don't doubt taking care of others every day. Moreover, I remove bones and bones, which is beneficial for pregnant women and children to eat more. You won't get tired of it, will you? How could it be? Yuli quickly clarified, I'm just curious that your cooking skills have improved so quickly, and you have so many tricks to make a fish. Liang Lady continued, That's right, this fish is also meat. How could you get tired of eating meat? Ding Chunan next to her didn't say anything about changing, but she kept nodding. Eating meat won't get you tired. You don't have to wait for decades, but in two years you'll get tired of it. In modern times, there are still people who specialize in vegetarianism. The signed in ingredients should be fine, but regular ingredients will definitely get greasy. A meal was so satisfying that even after finishing the group of people who were far away from Gao Linjing, they did not come back. I took a nap with him and didn't leave until someone else came to Gao Lin. Of course, the older sisters still haven't come back. They probably finished eating and went somewhere else. 
only normal logistics staff came to work. After a busy morning, Gao Lin finished all the work for today and prepared to take a break in the afternoon before drawing. I accidentally switched to the kitchen of Silly Pillar in the second cafeteria. Silly Zhu sat alone in a chair, shaking his head and humming a tune, occasionally taking a sip of tea, appearing uncomfortable and not isolated by everyone. That's right, it's isolation. Although everyone else is working to tidy up, it is obvious that they are all far away from him, and even if they are far enough away, all men are unwilling to turn their backs to him and work on their sides at most. Gao Lin chuckled inwardly, it seems that the controversy over the kitchen has not stopped yet. Even though the security department has clarified that Su Dumao was not the one who was foolishly stabbed, everyone still involuntarily avoids him. Looking around, Gao Lin noticed that everyone had at least one lunch box filled with leftovers. That's right. A large factory with tens of thousands of people has several canteens, and even one canteen can accommodate tens of people and serve thousands of people. Without shaking the spoon, it's just a little less, and the leftover food won't be clear. It's hard to tell even if one person misses two or three points when serving dishes, a thousand people are equivalent to serving dishes for twenty or thirty people. Silly Zhu Ding, choose more good dishes, and the rest will be divided by the kitchen staff. Otherwise, with this interpersonal relationship, how could no one report it to Silly Zhu Ding? Gao Lin greeted with a smile and said, Silly Pillar, have you eaten yet? Silly Zhu was startled by a sudden shout and started cursing as soon as he opened his eyes. However, upon seeing it, Gao Lin was actually happy. Hey hey, look who this is. Isn't this Gao Lin, a towering engineer? He's a rare guest. Didn't you never come to my place to eat? Why are you available today? Gao Lin pointed to the kitchen trash can and pursed his lips. Look at how vegetarian you make every day, there's no meat or fish at all. I must have made it myself and brought food over to eat. Listening to Gao Lin's natural tone, Lu Lan, Ma Hua, and Chui Daik were all envious. How about reading more? Look at them. How high their salary is after graduating from college, they eat well every day. Gao Lin didn't care about their envy, there's basically nothing good in this kitchen. It's not a rule to bring dishes in the kitchen. If they eat in the factory, it's okay to say it's because the kitchen is diligent and frugal, and it's also a welfare allowed in the factory, but it's unreasonable to say it's taken out. Just like how workshop workers can say that there are too many workpieces produced today, I will bring back a few, or if this workpiece is damaged, I will bring it back. Isn't this a joke? Gao Lin continued to explain the reason for his inversion. I've been staring at the production line all morning, and I'll have to draw some pictures later. I'll take a stroll to change my mind, but I won't transfer it to you. Silly Zhu chuckled and said, So you guys make a lot of money, but it takes your brains. Look at me, make lunch and I'll be fine. Did you do it? That's not what Master Yang did. Gao Lin couldn't help but roll his eyes and retort. Silly Zhu is not ashamed but proud. Why didn't I make the seasoning I mixed? Besides, I even made a stir fry. Chapter 8 Nan Ishuan's Apprentice You are listening at novelfull.audio. Just making a seasoning for others to stir fry, my cafeteria is so popular, and I am really amazing. As for Nan E, do you think the leaders are still eating the dishes I made? Why not go find him? It doesn't mean I did well. Silly Zhu secretly felt proud for a while, then remembered the greeting when Gao Lin came in and casually replied. We all start selling food after finishing it, who cares if they're hungry? All right, you guys get busy first, I won't disturb you anymore. I'll go take a look elsewhere. Gao Lin didn't find anything interesting and turned around to leave. Let's chat for a while, why are you in such a hurry? Silly Zhu quickly tried to reach out and grab Gao Lin, but Gao Lin dodged and avoided him. This silly pillar wants two big men to play hand in hand hands, are you disgusting? Gao Lin Xin said that after seeing the silly pillar, 
he went to see Nan Yina. This is called fairness and justice. Entering Nan Yi's kitchen, he looked up and saw Nan Yi and others eating. Gao Lin was surprised and said, Did you just eat? Nan Yi was also taken aback when he said this. He looked up and asked, Isn't it this time for the chefs to eat? They can even wrap up all the leftovers, which can be considered a chef's welfare. Gao Lin thought of Silly Zhu's words and couldn't help but shake his head in silence. I looked at the kitchen and found that everyone was eating. All the descendants were eating the same food and it was quite delicious. Pots and pans, chopping boards and knives, everything has been packed and washed clean, and even the ground has been squatted down for a while edge. It can be said that almost all the hygiene has been cleaned, leaving a few people to cook for the night shift workers. They can leave now. Gao Lin smiled and said, it's really clean. With this kind of kitchen, everyone can eat and rest assured. I just passed by the silly pillar, and he said, who cares about others when they're hungry? I also heard that some chefs are afraid of not having enough energy to work, so they eat early, I thought you were too. Nani didn't react much, but everyone else's eyes lit up. Who doesn't like eating in advance? Everyone is willing to work when they are full. Master, let's also eat early. If we don't eat in the morning, we'll work. I can't stand it every time I'm hungry. Others dare not express their opinions, but Lu Ming dares to be his disciple. Nan Eason said Lu Ming dares, Lu Ming dares, you're so big. Worried that others might think the same way, staring he gave a glance and loudly explained to the others. You're just talking nonsense. You didn't feel hungry when you ate early, so if you didn't go back tonight, you still had to have a meal. Besides, we can still eat some leftovers at this time. Where did you get these good things from eating early? Lu Ming dared not accept it and retorted, Master, we can have a leftover meal at this point. If it's not possible, we can take it home and treat it directly as dinner. That's how Silly Zhu and the others do it. This statement goes straight to everyone's hearts. The other cafeterias don't take things, but the second cafeteria of Silly Pillar still serves as a small stove for the leaders. They bring things back every day, and everyone is already envious. Nani glanced at the restless crowd, sneered, and said calmly. The factory's policy is that the cafeteria staff manage one meal, and if Lu Ming dares to have two meals, it's against the factory. Do you still want to work? Lu Ming dared not know what to say for a moment, and his face turned red. Nanyike doesn't care about these things. Now that people's hearts are floating, we must calm down this demonic wind and evil pressure. As for bringing it home. Humph, this means no one has reported it. If we catch it one by one, it's all theft of national property. Maybe stupid Jew has connections and can keep his job, but want to get promoted again. Dream it. Do you want to bring home this leftover food and vegetables, or do you want to get a salary increase in the future? The scolding from Nan Yi made everyone afraid to speak, and they all ate silently with their heads stuck. Several people added it several times but didn't add anything, and they didn't dare to look up, so they could only eat the air there. The kitchen suddenly quieted down. As soon as Gao Lin saw that he was getting angry, he quickly pulled the situation back. Nani, Nani. Why are you so angry? Everyone is watching Silly Zhu live too carefree, and their eyes are envious. Already, besides, Lu Ming Dare didn't really plan to do this, he just had this idea. Isn't this a request for your advice? If you say it's not possible, he will definitely not do it. You don't understand your disciple yet. You see, everyone already knows the seriousness of the matter, so it's like flipping the page. Gao Lin turned to all the logistics personnel and gestured with his back to Nan Yi, shouting loudly. Everyone knows what's going on here, so there won't be any mistakes, right? Right, right, master, I just didn't expect to be so powerful. Besides, I didn't do it either. Don't worry, Master Nan. We all know the severity now, and we definitely won't take it home. 
Master Nan, you just love to help everyone with things. Don't even mention it. Look, if Gao Gongyan brings it up today, I we don't even know how much advantage eating at this point has taken. That's right, thank you Master Nan. Thank you, Master Nan. As soon as everyone saw Gao Lin handing him a ladder, they hurried down, apologizing and promising, and thanking each other for going up. Nani felt embarrassed about what he said and waved his hand, saying. It's all fine, just pay attention in the future. If you really need anything, just let me know and I'll help you analyze and analyze whether you can do it. As long as you work hard and improve your level, everyone's life will get better and better. Master Nan said well, everyone is babbling. With Gao Lin taking the lead, everyone applauded knowingly, and in the midst of the applause, this matter was considered a thing of the past. Nanny pointed at Gao Lin and cursed with a smile. You see how much trouble you've caused me since you came, you have to send me a bottle of good wine. You know, I'm someone who doesn't smoke, drink alcohol, or burn his head, but I'm a good man. Gao Lin spread his hands and wanted to play a prank. Nani didn't give up and complimented, you don't drink alcohol, but it doesn't prevent you from having good wine. With the ingredients you brought, I believe the wine you got must also be good. After thinking for a moment, Gao Lin seemed to have troubled Nani many times. It's okay to give him some good things from time to time. However, when he thought about his good personality and didn't know much about this knowledge, Gao Lin simply asked, tell me, what kind of wine do you want? Nani couldn't believe it and said, can I still ask by name? Gao Lin said lightly, I don't know what kind of wine is good. You just say the name, and I'll find it more convenient by name. You're still pretending to be tough about this. Nani gave a thumbs up gesture with both hands, and then started thinking while eating. The ready dot made ones are not as interesting as the ones made by oneself. Since we can get high dot quality ingredients, fruits should not be a problem, right? Thousand. Chapter 9 Nani Xian has belongings. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. After finishing eating and tidying up, Nan Yi stopped Gao Lin who was visiting the cafeteria and whispered. Why don't you try monkey wine, or call it Bai Guanyang? The quality of the fruits you make is too high, and it's definitely not ordinary for us to make our own wine. Gao Lin put on a pair of dead fish eyes, still slanting his gaze towards Nan Yi. How about you bring something and I'll brew it? Nani was seen coughing and could only take a step back. As long as I don't have to do it. Gao Lin regained his smile and asked, What ingredients do you want? Let's try the simplest ones first. Apples, bananas, pears, tomatoes, carrots, water, white sugar, all of your quality. Prepare in a ratio of 1.1.1.2.2.11.3. After thinking for a moment, Nanny started writing while speaking, and then slapped the written list in Gao Lin's hand. Gao Lin took a closer look at the toy, 583, and promised, No problem, it's a bit late today. Let's give it a try tomorrow night. Nanny corrected, Don't do it tomorrow. We'll have a holiday on May Day the day after tomorrow. It would be great if we could do it then. Gao Lin looked disdainfully at Nan Yi and said, Do you think everyone is as lonely as you? We'll go see the celebration then. In one sentence, Nan Yi was said to have lost his confidence, but what Gao Lin didn't expect was that he dared to retort. Who said I'm alone? I have a partner now. This aroused Gao Lin's interest. Not only Gao Lin, but also the eavesdropping chefs, regardless of whether they were eavesdropping, excitedly asked. Master, who is my mother? Master Nan, that's not enough fun for you. You don't even tell us when making friends, afraid we'll know. Gao Lin deliberately urged, Nan Yi, isn't it fabricated? Watching everyone transition from excitement to doubt, I'm afraid that Nan Yi fabricated such a person for the sake of men's face. What's that? I used to help a family before, and he said he wanted to marry the girl to me, but I didn't mind. But recently, I wrote a letter to the girl and she feels quite cute. Speaking, 
Nan Yi's face turned red. Gao Lin heard his aunt smile and vigorously patted Nan Yi's shoulder, causing him to stumble. Sure, Nani. It's quite romantic to play. I was also thinking of introducing you to something, yourself I just found it. I'm just waiting to drink your wedding wine. Lu Mingan also leaned over and said, Master, when will we get married? We are all looking forward to this day. Nan Yi. Gao Lin patted Lu Mingan on the back and translated, We all hope to come in the heavenly way this day. Right, right. Lu Ming dared to nod vigorously. Nani looked into the distance, deliberately avoiding everyone's teasing eyes, and said with sweetness. She will depart next month, but the exact date has not been determined yet. We will get married once she is settled in. Uh, aunties and aunts gathered together to gather first.hand information, so as to show off in the circle. As soon as Gao Lin saw that there was nothing else to do, let them be happy on their own. Don't get in this way, quickly apply oil on the soles of their feet and quietly leave. Several protagonists have watched it, so Su Dumao also wants to see it. Gao Lin turned around and walked into the publicity department. Without being in a hurry to see Su Damao, Gao Lin went to the section chief's place first. Knocking on the door, Gao Lin greeted him and said, Chief Zhang, are you busy? Yo, rare guest, senior engineer. Come, come and sit down, I have nothing to do. Director Zhang immediately smiled when he saw that it was Gao Lin. As an engineer, Gao Lin was originally considered a mid to high level manager, and he also managed the solar stove and several workshops. That's even more impressive, but the key is that he doesn't love power. Gao Lin placed several documents in front of Director Zhang and couldn't help but speak up. I conducted publicity and mobilization in several workshops this morning, and that's how things went. Although you delegated power to me, at least I want you to see the results. You are this, even if we come here, we don't have your effect. Director Zhang carefully reviewed the document and understood the seriousness of the problem. If this one is not handled properly, the entire workshop of Yi Zhonghai may be in turmoil. This time, our publicity department also saved us from a disaster thanks to you. In the future, if you have something to talk about, I will definitely not hesitate to do it. Gao Lin clenched his fists and said, Chief Zhang, will I really be impolite in the future? Don't be polite, the less polite the better. Chief Zhang laughed heartily, the more impolite he was, the more he became. If he could pull the technical department that has always been neutral on Long Island, I don't know how the leader will reward me the two chatted a few more words, and Gao Lin couldn't bear it anymore. He said, Chief Zhang, I have something to do with Su Damao from our hospital. Let's take a step first. Su Damao. Director Zhang muttered, Su Damao has something to do at home, so he took a leave this afternoon and went back. Gao Lin was puzzled and said, Did you take a leave? Yes, I came early in the morning to take a leave and left after lunch. Chief Zhang affirmed. Okay, then I'll go find someone else and see you later. Gao Lin had no choice but to give up and casually found another excuse to leave. He couldn't just chat with this old oilseed all afternoon, could he? Gao Lin wanted to leave, but Chief Zhang didn't want to let go yet. He asked with concern, What's up, can I help you? No need, it's just a small matter. Gao Lin quickly refused. I don't even know what's going on, I'm just trying to get rid of you and find an excuse. Finally, after pushing and pulling for half a day, Gao Lin was able to leave under the gift of Director Zhang. Gao Lin looked back and sighed, it seems it's not advisable to go back and design sketches in the future. Gao Lin went back to draw until he finished work, and Su Damao had already arrived home. On the way back, Su Damao first went to find his father Su Fugue. Su's father took a good leave before returning to his parents' home with Su Damao. Su Damao recounted the events that had happened in the past few days and recounted his own injuries, all of which were explained clearly before stopping. 3.3 The room fell silent for a moment, 
and all I could hear was the sound of Sue's father smashing his smoking bags and pots. After a while, Father Sue finally spoke up and asked. The Mao, which means you're disabled and divorced. Lu Xiaowa is the only child in our Su family's womb. Su Dumao nodded sadly. Su's father slapped him twice when he went up and cursed loudly. You useless person. You haven't completed any of our family's plans and even played with yourself. How could I have given birth to such an unpopular thing as you? After slapping Su Dumao twice but still unable to relieve his anger, Su's father kicked him to the ground wanting to go up and continue the fight. Sue's mother quickly came up to stop whispered advice to Sue's father. Dad, it's not time for us to worry about how big a mistake Sue Damal has made. We need to first think about what we should do next. Chapter 10 Sue Lao Wilting Calculation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sue's father suppressed his anger and sat back in the chair, gulping down his cigarette bag. After pondering for a long time, Sue's father finally spoke up, there are two things that matter now. First, you need to catch up with Lu Xiaowa. If it's not possible, the child must also come back. This may be a bit difficult. A few days ago, we had a pretty unpleasant scene, but now she gets upset when she sees me. Su Damao said something and then shrunk his neck. Su's father was so angry that he used a smoking bag and pot to smoke Su Dumao's back and said, How could I have given birth to something useless like you? Su's mother quickly hugged Su Dumao into her arms to prevent Su's father from continuing to beat him, and even cursed. It's not that you're useless, Su Lao wilting. If we could all stay in the courtyard, the Mao wouldn't have suffered such injustice. You, a loving mother who has defeated her child so much, he's like this. You're still protecting him. Sue's father was so angry that his hand holding the smoking bag and pot was trembling, it seemed like he wanted to pick and choose. Sue's mother cast a disdainful glance at Sue's father, come on. Sue's father immediately wilted. This can't beat my wife, but it's passed down from the Sue family. Su's mother used to be able to compete with Jia Zhangshir.26, and the two most famous shrews in the entire street were all in this courtyard. The son Su Fugue is nicknamed Su Lao Wilting. He is famous for not being able to fight, but rather for being behind the scenes and being a wilting master. Looking at Su's father's displeased expression, Su's mother couldn't help but say, All right, don't act like you're a dead person. Let's talk about what the second one is. Su's father stared at Su Damao and carefully analyzed him. The secret treatment cannot be stopped. I don't think you would do the same. Let's not give up hope either. It won't be cured now, maybe it will be cured in the future. Since Lu Xiao Yi is bothering you, please don't step forward and don't let Lu Xiao Yi come out to clean up our house. When Lu Xiao Yi is born, the boy is okay to say that in the future, he will be more attentive and won't be able to win over adults. At least he can have a good relationship with the child. If it's a girl, then we can only let our daughter recruit a son. In law, Sue's father talked for a while, but in fact, the focus was on his own elderly couple, and he didn't say much useful to Sue Damo. Having raised his son for so many years, I already know his character. How could Su Damao do his best to support himself in his old age? Not eating your own food is good. In the future, I can only rely on my daughter, Sun Dotin Dot Law, and the next generation of the Su family to handle things. Su Damao became impatient after listening for a long time. After all, his father only cared about his own little piece of land, and he said, Dad, tell Xiaomei about this. What should I do first? Su's father retorted confidently when he saw Su Damao mess up the matter, and slapped him again. However, at first glance, Su's mother could only pretend to scratch her hair. Secondly, how are we going to punish them? Damao, first let's talk about whether your illness will be announced or not. What do we say if we announce it? What do we say if we don't announce it? Su Damao hesitated for a moment, still wanting to hear. Su's father knocked on his cigarette ash and said, 
it's announced that you can demand more compensation and let them suffer more punishment, but you will always be criticized and talked about by others in the future. Like Yi Zhonghai. No, it may be even more serious than that. With a desire for revenge, Su Damao asked his father. Dad, if it's announced, what punishment will Silly Zhu and Chui Daik, these two grandsons, face? Can they be shot? Su's father shook his head regretfully and explained the old logic. We can only prove that you were frozen, and Silly Zhu happened to tie you up and freeze you all night, so we can't prove that you were frozen this time. After all, the temperature is weak now. You can freeze it for a few nights and it's okay. Even according to the previous rules, you can freeze it for at most three or even ten days, no more. And even if you exclude your harm, it's not a big deal. Isn't it just tying up your hair? To put it bluntly, in the eyes of the public, it's like we saw our neighbor's two children fighting, it's a big deal. In other words, it happened in the factory. If it was in a courtyard, even the officials in charge of public affairs would not take care of it, so they would just let the old man in the courtyard mediate. At most, Yi Zhonghai would let Silly Zhu sweep the floor, take care of the deaf old lady, and have nothing else. Su Damao quickly shook his head upon hearing this. At most, it will only freeze for a few days, but with a silly physique, it's okay to freeze at this temperature for half a year now. Dad, our family is not short of money. If we want to mess with them, we can do it ourselves. It's better not to disclose it. Su's father also thought the same way in his heart. Seeing Su Damao's words, he nodded and continued. The operation of not disclosing it is a bit troublesome. There are still some things you need to find ways to cover up in the future, such as getting married and having children. In the past few years, you can continue to please Lu Xiaowa and her children, pretending to be infatuated in not getting married. It will be difficult in a few years. If you want to conceal it, you will have to find someone from the countryside who is easy to deceive. You can discuss with her, seal your mouth, and forgive her those who come from the countryside dare not stir up trouble and will not choose to divorce, as for giving birth, if you can bear it, let her borrow one. If you can't bear it, you can either give money or tie it up with emotions, and let her admit that she can't have children. Only in this way can we keep your story hidden. Good guy, this is about getting married first to let people enjoy city life, and then explaining the situation, firmly believing that rural girls will not return to the countryside as divorced. Even if the girl doesn't agree to choose exposure, she can still be said to be slandered, and may even be turned upside down. After listening to this long series of arrangements, Su Damao's head was about to explode, and 667's forehead skipped a beat. Do you still need to borrow it? Maybe you still have to be submissive to your wife. Everyone blames stupid pillars. He hates it. I used to have a carefree life, but now it's all gone. Fortunately, Su Damao had already accepted reality during the inspection two days ago, so he quickly recovered. After careful consideration, Su Damao always felt that his father's trick was very familiar, but he just couldn't remember it. Suddenly remembering the reason why Silly Zhu was tidying up, Su Damao probed, just like Yi Zhonghai. Su's father affirmed, just like Yi Zhonghai. Fearing that Su Damao would still worry blindly, Su's father comforted him. Lao Yi didn't play well and didn't know how big his problem was, so he went for a foolish physical examination. You know what's going on with you, feel a string in your heart, don't miss it, just say it. Sigh. Su Damao let out a deep sigh before facing the problem and could only accept the same approach as Yi Zhonghai. After seeing that the two had finally finished their conversation, Su's mother interjected. Damao, what kind of person are you looking for? Miss Lu Xiao Yi is really not good. Look at how you've been manipulated. Su's mother felt heartbroken as she touched Su Damao's face. Besides, she never expected Lu Xiao to become an old Buddha in the past six months.